Hello everyone, I have been requested to do a, bit, to do a shout out to Lift Enthusiast 2020 fans, buzzers, lifts and more. I just realised in the fun, in like a uh, banner, you can see a picture of like, uh, of the challenge fan which I have like behind me right now. The challenge fan is really powerful, it's my most powerful fan actually. Way more powerful than the Matsuri's and 2001 Cool, while having a very good pitch to the blades. Like in this in like an LED bulb but it looks like grey. But when but when it's in like natural sunlight, it looks blue. So yeah, you know it's in the top left. Same as the one I got from the trash today. We're gonna look at some videos. So you can see all of these videos. I'll probably have like a video like this one. The one underneath the fan video because I don't wanna reveal the car number play is not a good idea. Or I have a number play girl features in it because I think you can actually track where that car is if you know another play. So yeah, let's look at my metal fans have a fight. I'm the best fan. I'm also a uh, 2020 Danielle fan. What the hell? What the hell did you say? B word? Scream to go. Dealberry? Glad he sounds like a swear word. I have the better plug. Uh, I think he has a plastic plug and he wants a metal plug, so yeah, he's got a good one. So, I'm the world's largest desk fan. Okay. Well, I move more air. Uh, which is correct. What are you boys fighting over? Says the uh, fan is like way, way tiny on both of them actually. Very small. Shut it mate. Ooh. Yeah, shut it. I have better blade pitch. Wait, really? Like, because, I don't know, my copper one doesn't have that much pitch. I believe the high velocity one is more pitch, or maybe I'm wrong. I did it just like how I did it. Very good, very good, I'll do that. What are you two doing? The noisy machines are at it. Will you two break it up? Now you notice that, like, it started like a pause. I think that it sounds like he... I'm guessing when originally doing the video, he, like, said, can you two break it up? But it didn't show because of the noise of the fan or the wind air movement, so, yeah. Break it up. Gee. I like how the know one has the same the handle as the Pro Breeze, while the Deal Berry does not. I know you two are both really good fans, and I've been using you both today, but break it up. We're not in a full fight. What's going into you two? Jeez. Yes, this is a great video. That's a horrible place to... Oh my goodness, mate. There we go. Still horrible, but... Not too bad. Sorry about the awful quality. You know what would make this much better? Like when you said, can you, you two like break it up? And like one of the fans just says like, no. That would be hilarious. Okay, let's look um, Oh, what video? Let's look at this one. An old LTI TX1 still in service. Actually, I should probably not do that because of the number plate in the video. And I don't want him, I don't want that car to get tracked, you know. I didn't realise that. My new room update. Hi guys. You're probably wondering why I'm doing a video in the Porsche. Well, look what I've got. That's right, the new painters. Awesome, bro. You got some new paint. I'm guessing this is for your, your new room, which I'm itchy at your redesigning. I did, like, have my room redesigned. Like, you know, the current room now, I had it redesigned back in, like, 2017, 2016. So, yeah. So, I really can't hit that play button. So, we've got the Nordic Sky, which is, like, a blue colour. Oh, we got a blue colour. We've got... Um... 
there for the focus. Diamond eggshell. Oh, it's a white colour. White mist. White mist as well. And definitely a very interesting colour combination looking for that, bro. Very interesting. I like that. So, yeah, this is the paint name. That was my chair creaking. It's pretty cool, right? Yes, it is. That's cool. Awesome, I'll say. Look at that. Details on the back there. You look like paint. Oh, uh, yeah. This will be looking for a light. I'm seeing an interesting light design. Oh, yeah, it's the light switch. Anyway. Upstairs, and tell you what's been done. Oh, you have a porch. My grandparents have a porch. This, like, my house doesn't. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention about the challenge fan. The badge is a little bit loose because, like, one of the things that holds the screws on cracked and broke. So, only two of the three screws are holding on. Like, because the thing which you know you screw, screw into actually snapped on one of these sides. But the badge isn't falling off, so I'm fine. If the badge does fall off, if the badge does fall off, I'll just glue it, glue it back on because I like the challenge of going on it. If I peeled off that sticker, it'll be like just white underneath that sticker. It doesn't seem like on the wall there. That's why it very looks very different indeed. And yeah, this whole wall hasn't been replaced yet. The bullet door is getting the play very soon, actually. So, yeah. I'm guessing that's the boiler room. In, in my boiler room, we have like two hoovers there. The recent shark one that my mum bought recently. Well, it wasn't really recently. It was back home when I was waiting for these vintage handheld fans to arrive. So, weeks ago. I got £400 Dyson Hoover. With the one just in the... With the one just in the garage. What's this? So that's the... Mm -hmm. That's the old boiler door that's going to get replaced. It's the... Very tatty and nifty. Look at the comfort squeaks. Yeah, it's going to get very very soon. The window, the new window's in as well, as you can see. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I have the same window here, except it's like really dirty and needs a good clean. But I have the same window. Now this may look like new plaster, but it's not. No, no, no. It's actually lining paper. Yeah, this is what's going to go here. You can see. Very nice looking, isn't it? Don't know what you guys think. This wall is going to be a blue wall, yeah. Oh, interesting. Let's look at the video of the 1990 Ben Ross 16-inch pedestal fan. Sorry, I was just texting someone. Here's going to be a remake video of this 1990s Ben Ross 16 inch pedestal fan. This is the same pedestal fan. I think it's quite interesting they do a re like a, you know, a re, a re take. I forgot what the word was. I mean, very quickly. And I've featured many times before. And oh, I've removed the dead wasps because there's like a string of dead wasps on Two dead wasps on it. Ugh, that sounds awful. In my IT classroom which I have IT, obviously. There was, like, a wasp flying about in it. Scared everyone, because wasps are just, they're annoying. So I moved that string, and and I actually managed to fix the battling noise, so. Awesome. Got me, awesome. Yeah. I, I tightened the blade retaining nut better, and I, um, and the blade cap was loose as well. So. Yeah, with the like challenge fan I got, like the retainer nut that holds the back roll on was quite loose. 
The previous time I read that challenge fine, treated the fine like garbage. I could tell it's treated like garbage, but now I've got it. I'll treat it much better than I uh, probably should like spray paint the grill. It's probably for the best. And I fixed the problem, so yeah. It's gonna be a remake video on it. So here it is. So there's the front. Side view. Oh. You can see it's yellow as else. And the back. Just like my challenge, it's yellow as else. Information sticker is missing on this fan. Same with my challenge, actually. My challenge the fan that I got today. Missing information sticker. And, yeah. Has same buttons as the 1997 UK travel, which is fun. Yeah, same as the Super, also on the SMC, because uh, well, the, the CED, or SEG UK, however you say it, uh, the Super and SMC are obviously all made by SMC. Yeah, have button problems though. Same with my Challenge fan, it also has button problems, like the buttons don't stay down properly, like the Matsui's. I can see. Also, the challenge fan, it has the most beautiful, like, it has one of the most beautiful startup sounds. So, yeah. Here's the plug. <coughs> Same plug as the 1994 Loitch one, says fan. Yeah, except this time it isn't like a big, like, sticker rip, which is what the Loitch one has, like a big sticker rip and just dark, so I'm guessing. The plug was beat up, but the rest of it's fine. It's the not plug, in best. The plug is fine. Don't worry, it ain't dangerous. It's not in good condition, though. It's all scratched, as you can see. But same plug as the night night for Lloyd. The Lloyd Tron is one less, like way way more scratched stuff, I believe. I can't remember which one. Also has the same red housing as a night as a night night for Lloyd. Did I just see a crack there? Which one? Also has the same red house. You see that right there? Is that like a crack or something? I don't know. I think as a nineteen as a as a um nineteen nineties micro market to China made my No it ain't. No it ain't. No it ain't. Don't worry. It just looks like it. Yeah, same red house and that's the nineteen nineties micro market, which are Chinese made, I don't know why they were. Just like the supers. Micro marks. Also like the nineteen eighty two micro mark. It has the newer and the old still adjustment, as you can see. Yeah, it does. And it has like the same retainer ring as the micro mark for my micro mark. I like the tilt adjustment knob though, I like the design. So yeah. Oh yeah, also, I won't be able to film any videos at my school because you can't, you, at my school you, you, you literally cannot film any videos, it's forbid. To be able to film any videos at school, I don't know why, but I'm not allowed to film. Any, no one's allowed to film anything at school. There's a little tag on it here. Very thick wire. Oh, I was blind there for a second. It's got its thing on it, so it's, it won't lift away easily. The, the base, it needs a new base, as you can see. But my challenge fan, uh, the base is fine except for one of the legs are like really bent up and missing the feet. That base might need replacing as it is wobbly. Oh, sorry. But at least I fixed the rattling noise, so... That's yeah, good. It is. No. That's a cool startup sound. Same with my challenge. Medium. Seems like a powerful fan. Yeah, it is yellowed out. It has bad bearings. Yeah. See? 
Yeah, it's my parents. Now go to hot. Doesn't sound too bad. Like the pharynx aren't too bad. Bad pharynx reduces the speed of the fan and the speed on time significantly. Like if you look at my micro mark, quick speed on time with any blade on it because of the bad bearings, really bad bearings. Why? It's still really powerful despite the fact it has bad bearings. The bad bearings look quite mild on it, so that's good. Because bad bearings are obviously hence they getting bad to have. But I have fixed the issue of the challenge fan because I'm like low, I can hear like some weird noise. I think it was either the motor housing or the grill because the floor cleaning, like the bed grill was loose because it only needed to tighten the retaining up and the motor housing was loose because the screw was missing. Right, here is low reverse oscillation. I'm going to engage oscillation now, so here's low reverse oscillation. Oh my god, I was recording in portraits all the time. Don't worry, it won't. Portraits all the time. Sorry about that. Okay. There's a weird glitch then. The um, iPhone changed the orientation of the video. So. Very weird. Here it's medium. Bit of oscillation. Also, I don't know if it's just me, but my iPad and phone, all, all my Apple products, the, the battery has been just all of a sudden just worse today. Like, they're perfectly fine in this state, but it's all of a sudden been worse. Like, I feel like Apple had done something like, again, like, drains, like draining the batteries again. I don't know why. Hi, oscillation. Sounds like my grandparents, well they used to have, before they had the fine elements 9 inch fan, they used to have a home base 6 inch pedestal fan, which is similar to my 2011 challenge. And my 2006, I believe, challenge. 6 inch pedestal fan. So yeah, it sounds like that. It's off. Very good. This is the reason why I think the bad bearings are quite, are very mild on it, because of the spin on time. Bad bearings reduces the spin on time by a lot. Any fan with like really bad bad bearings has quick spin on time. Good spin on time as well. It has an amazing spin on time. Now that it's into the startup sounds. Let's make it quick. The buttons are like super. Yeah, they do, bro. Because they're the same buttons as a super charging chest fan. Yeah, or a 16 inch model. A model 12C or 16C, because the 12KDs or 16KDs had the same switch as the 2004 Durocraft, except I think the Durocraft company copied it, I don't know. Because those supers came first. Or or um, or yes, obviously I really don't know. It's medium, sorry guys. Now let's wait again. Oh yeah, I've got to get back to less in a minute, so it's quick. I have to make it quick. Get it. Guys, thanks for watching and see ya. Aha! I noticed that, or that camera's not focused, but I noticed that it is how I usually end my videos by saying see ya. Obviously, you know, it's like the first video that I, that I made, right, today, of the challenge fan before I cleaned it, it just randomly ended because I accidentally exited out my camera app. I didn't mean to, but I did by accident, so yeah. That'll be it for this video, hope you enjoyed, 